Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. In this video, I want to show you how to make a two color paracord bracelet. And with paracord crafting, we normally use a Bic lighter like this. But since this video is geared especially towards kids, we're gonna keep it safe and not use one of these. Let's dive in. So for this bracelet, you're gonna need about eight feet of paracord. And since we're doing two colors, we can have four feet in each color. So we wanna find one end of each of those and we'll begin by tying them on to the buckle. So we'll start with our green cord and bring that down through this side of the buckle. Just that slit right there, bring the cord down through and leave a little bit of extra on this side. We want it coming out to the left and then we're gonna bring it over the top of it to the right and then around again so it's down below. Then we want it to come through this hole right here that we made. So you can leave a little bit of loop on that side if you want. Bring it around and then poke it down through that loop. We'll do it again with the other color if you missed that. Pull that tight and you just want a little bit of cord left over when you're done. Then we can slide this knot right up against the buckle. We'll do the same thing with this cord. So we'll go down through the top, over to the right side this time, and then over, and then underneath so it's back to the right side. We've got this loop right here that we want to put this cord down through. Just like that, and then pull that knot tight so that we have some cord left over and then pull it up towards the buckle. Make sure all of your knots are tight before we move on to the next step. So now we can take our buckle apart. So you pinch these two buttons on the side and then it pulls apart. And this buckle is special because it has a compass on there and then also a fire starter. If you're ever out in the, the wilderness or camping, you could start a fire with this. But Letting your parents use matches probably works better. This is kind of an emergency thing. And then we've got a whistle there too. So if you ever needed to call for help and your voice isn't loud enough, we've got a whistle. Okay, so now we want to find the other side of our cords. Like this. And on this end of things, we're just gonna put both of them down through the hole. So right alongside of each other, put both of them through. Then we're gonna pull it all the way through until we've got our buckles close to each other. Just like that. And we want to make sure that these two cords are not twisted around each other, but that this one on the right stays on the right side and this one on the left stays on the left side. So now we're going to begin making our actual bracelet. We just want to put one cord out to each side and grab one of those cords and put it over the top. like that, and then take this other cord and just bring it straight down over that other one. And then take the same cord that we just did that with and bring it around the back and find the end again and go up through this loop. Pull all the extra cord through until it looks about like that. So now we can pull that knot tight. Just pull on both those ends like that. And before we go any farther, we want to make sure that this bracelet actually fits on our wrist. So now we can just try putting it on. And I've made mine way too small. It would probably fit you, but it's a little bit small for me. So what I need to do is just loosen that last knot and then pull those middle cords a little bit more. So we'll try it again. All right, there we go. So this actually fits me, but now it fits me pretty tight. And so if we start adding our knots onto there, it's gonna make it even tighter. So what you wanna do is that you make a bracelet that's loose enough to comfortably fit two fingers underneath. If I do that, my fingers almost get stuck. So I wanna loosen up just a little bit more. So I can even do that on my wrist, just loosen that last knot, pull those middle cords through a little bit. And now that's about the right size. That's the fit you want. So it's just a little bit loose on your, on your wrist. 
So keep where that was, take it off, and tighten that knot down right there. Now we can keep going with the rest of our knots. So the first time we started with our green cord over the top, we're going to start with our green cord again. Before it was on our right side, and now it's on our left side. So we'll bring that cord over the top. Whatever color you started with before, you want to start with that same color again. Bring it over the top like that, leaving a little bit of a loop on this side. Bring this cord down, around the back, and then find that end and stick it up through the loop. And then we'll pull both of those cords and it should tighten down right underneath your first knot. We'll make a couple more of these so you see how it's supposed to look. And uh-oh, it looks like I made a mistake. I started going with the other color, so I need to back up and redo that one. I must have started with my rainbow color instead of the green. So if that happens to you, just back up to the last step you did and start it the right way. Oh, and this is what the pattern should look like. We've got our green down the middle and our rainbow cord on the sides. Yours is gonna look different if you have different colors, but the cool thing about this is that you can flip it over and the other color will be down the middle. Let's finish this up. So now we're getting close to the end and we've come to the spot where we've got two extra cords here and we just want to weave right over the top of those so that they aren't sticking out to the side when we're done. So just kind of tuck them underneath and keep going. Make sure that you catch all four cords in there and then when you pull it tight they'll all stay in place and just be hidden underneath. All right, so we filled up the rest of our bracelet. Now this next part's a little bit tricky, but I think you guys can handle it. We wanna flip our bracelet over onto the back. So we're looking at the underside right here. And what I'm gonna do is just loosen the last couple of knots that we tied. So you don't wanna completely untie them, but just take that bottom color. So for me, it's this colorful one. So there we go. We're pulling this bottom cord a little bit loose. We just wanna leave a loop about that big and then pull up the next one too. Just like that. And then we'll pull up the third one. So now we've got these three loose stripes on the bottom of our bracelet. And we're just gonna hide the ends of our cords underneath those. So you wanna take both of your cords and bring them up to the top and then down under each of those loose loops. This one's not quite loose enough. Just like that. And pull it most of the way through. Then take your other cord and do it right alongside, down through all three loops. If it's not fitting through, you might just want to make those loops a little bit bigger. So then it should look about like this, kind of like a tangled mess. But now we're gonna tighten down those loops and get everything nice and tight in place. So you wanna find where this loop is, your bottom one, and pull that one tight first. So pull on one of these loops on the side, just tighten that down. Then we're gonna pull the next one tight, so this middle loop right here, Pull that one tight too. And at the same time, we probably want to be pulling on this green one on the other side. So just pull both of those nice and tight. And then our last one, this top loop, it's really loose by now because we've got all of our extra string in there. So you just want to pull that one tight too. And then hold on to this green cord on the other side as we're doing that. And then we'll tighten both these down just like that. Once that's all good and tight again, 
we should just have these two big loops on the side and we tighten those by just pulling these cords in the middle. So once it's all nice and tight, it should look like that. And then if we flip it back over to the top side, you can't see the ends at all. So now at this point, the last step is just to cut off the extra cord. And so carefully with a pair of scissors, you just want to take it right underneath where we slipped it through our knots, right where your cord is sticking out of your bracelet and just clip off both cords. And then it'll look like that. And our bracelet is all finished. So one quick tip before we end this video is that you can take your leftover pieces from this bracelet that we just made and add it into another bracelet. So I've got another one started here with our rainbow color and I'm just leaving it right down the middle. So to do that effect, we can just tie our knots like normal, put one cord over the top and tie that down. And then with our next knot, you want to flip this up out of the way and tie it like normal. So every other knot we tie, we just want to flip that down and then back up. And then once we finish that up, we've got another cool bracelet. And the cool thing about this one is it glows. So here are the two bracelets that we came up with in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and were able to follow along and do it successfully. If you didn't, definitely try again. It'll, it'll come with practice. The materials that we used in this video are all available in a kit that we'll link down in the description. But if you don't see the colors that you like in that kit, we have over 600 colors in our store. So we'll link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching guys, and we hope to see you around in the next video. Thank you.